Hello my friends and welcome to Decisive Campaigns, our Dennis Offensive. I know that some of you have been waiting for this for months. Maybe more than months now. Um, but definitely not a year. Anyway, um, there has been some content released for this for free since it came out. And so I'm just going to... The two campaigns that originally came with the game were uh, uh, these two. And uh, this is a new one that was released about five months ago. And there's also, a, I think, a medium scenario here that's new as well. Um, but we're going to do a full-scale campaign. So let's get off the menu screen, because obviously we got the, the music being all loud. And uh, this will give me some time to talk about uh, talk about the campaign. All right, let's go for hard difficulty because uh, standard is probably a little bit too easy for me. Even though I'm not like entirely comfortable with this uh, game, but uh, it's I just haven't had the time. This is this is one of these games where you know a manual would be. Reading, spending ages reading through the manual would be a great idea, and the, <laughs> the irony is I did actually proofread the manual for this, but I don't remember anything. It was, it was uh, like over a year and a half ago now. Okay, let's go. I did, I did in fact proofread the manual for this, funnily enough, but uh, I'm not credited in the credits for doing that. It was something I did for a producer who did that for the actual manual writer, so it's more like a credit of a credit of a credit. Okay. Last round to be played is the 1st of January 1945. Okay, here we go. So what we will do is we'll just turn down the atmospheric music a bit. I don't know how loud it really will sound to you guys, but uh, it's, uh, it's kind of loud to me, so... Um, okay, so let's have a look. We have this giant, this absolutely enormous front line here. All the way down. All the way down here. And then we have all this map to take. So this is, this is a... Uh, absolutely enormous scenario here so where do we begin uh, 1st of January 1945 I think one round is one day no it's three rounds is one day you get two day phases and one night phase. So we have 14, 15, uh, 16, 32, 48, I think 48 turns approximately, 48 turns. Now one thing you can do in these games, and this is true of all Vic design games, is the political points if you go into the reports you have like the victory condition report which is not that helpful but what is helpful is the political point report the political point report <clears throat> this is true in Shadow Empire as well and, and other games basically tell you how to get political points which are the absolutely critical resource that lets you summon additional units and play special powers. So it's a strong hint as to what you're supposed to be doing. So here we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 towns. 
and three of them worth ten political points each. So these are what we should go for. Now, we're on the right-hand side of the map. Which is going to be... Uh, let's pull up the hex. 149, okay. 149, uh, 119, 116, okay, so we're at like, our closest point to the left is like 116, so which ones are closest to us? Well, there's 115, so there's one actually right near our front line somewhere. 115.85 cent vith, and this one's worth 10 points, so this is probably where we should go first. And then there's also 100 and 107, 111, Anchin, 111, 28, Anchin and cent vith, 111, 28, uh, 111, must be near the top somewhere. There it is. Okay, so we want to go here. It seems like we're very far away from this position, though. We've got a million ways to get to it. There's this Rotgen here as well, but it's not... It's marked as a victory point, but it's not a political point. <clears throat> we want those we want those precious political points. That's that's how you win these scenarios is by winning political points. Cuz it just lets you summon stuff. Uh but I guess going through it, going through this town to get to Anchin is how you want to do it. And then the other one was 85 104 83, 86, somewhere around here. Send Vith, there it is. I'm, I'm staring it in the face. Okay, so this is the other one where there's a high level of political points for, for taking it. And it looks to me like I have a force here that's just ready to go. This area is... Bizarrely, this area here belongs to me as if it had been explored by one of my units. This is a strong indication that I should be heading up here and taking St. Vith as soon as I can. Uh, this is some high ground positions here. I have no recon on any of these tiles. Um... Okay, so we know where we want to go. There's this river all the way along here that... I guess serves as a defensive bulwark. It's impossible to know... You know, with which units should I be attacking and with which ones should I be defending. Um, okay, let's, um, that's the minimap, this is inspection mode, uh, what I want is vision mode. I can't remember how to... get overlays. Looks like there's victory points for pretty much taking every town on the map. <clears throat> but it's political points we want to concern ourselves with in the, in the short term.
Okay. These units are not able to move either. Garrison duty, okay. So this part of the front is not mobile. I'm gonna suggest that this part is, yeah. I notice here that some of these units as well have not got full integrity. These green bars indicate how much health a unit has got compared to to its full strength. So there's a lot of half half strength units down here as well. Okay, all right, let's get started. Um, but before we do. I wish I remember what the uh what the key is for um recon mode. No point in using air power. Twenty fifth Panzer Grenade Division is depleted but ready to deploy. this on a major road. I'll get that to the front line in due course. I don't think they'll be able to move on this turn though. Okay, I've got some trucks here. Let's put the regiments in, ready to move. Okay. Uh, right, so let's put this map away. Okay, supply mode. That's not what I really need. Oh man, trust me to forget what the button for vision mode is, and I don't think it's written down anywhere. Unhelpfully. Uh, reconnaissance mode, as it is called. Okay, what I can do is. I can uh, just quickly uh, look it up. <laughs> I 
So recon is really important in this because units are hidden unless you have an, enough reconnaissance on the actual tile. And I need that. I need that hotkey. I'll have to look it up in the manual. Not the greatest start here, but I need, there we go. I need that, I need that keybind. Super useful. Okay. Effective recon points. Oh, that's that's right. That's how you do it. There isn't a key. That's why I can't remember. You have to turn it on in preferences. There we go. Okay. There we go. It's back. <laughs> I'm like, I'm boggling my mind here. I couldn't remember. Uh what the key was to, to put it on. It's actually a preference. Okay. All right, so let's... Let's start with the bottom area here because we might as well. Okay, so all of these purple units can't move. Because <clears throat> they're garrisons. This is a HQ unit. What are the others of this guy having a shot? Okay, urban city, 60% 60, 60 damage reduction. If I check the hex here, 68 recon. You need like 80 to guarantee that you know everything about that tile. I don't know if it's wise to go on the offensive down here, but... I 
I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay, he's eligible for a ranged attack. That'll probably just be mortars only though. What is this? 7.5 centimeter pack and flak. Okay, so there's no uh, artillery here. Man, I actually lost one. Huh. That was a bit unlucky. 70 recon, that's not much better, but it's better. Just move this HQ unit here. So these purple units will hold this position. If the enemy appears here, we'll probably gain control of these. So these two will just come in and, and take this position. What am I looking at? This is more 7.5 centimeter gubbins. a truck. That's okay. Okay. This guy should start getting uncomfortable. 73. So I could use a probe here as well to fully reveal this tile. Okay, 10 centimeter, 12 centimeter, 15 centimeter. Okay, this is proper artillery. Before we fire artillery, we want to get as much reconnaissance on the victim as possible. Look at the officer. Let's play recon on. This. You can only use one of these per turn. Purple seems to be an artillery regiment. Okay, can't use that. That's a morale increase, but I think morale is uh, high. Base morale is 50. Uh, okay, what am I looking at here? Hex stats, recon 81. Okay, now we now we definitely 100% know what's going on in this sector. Let's start making this guy's life miserable. Okay, they held but they lost two mortars. It should put the sweat on them a little bit. Okay, light urban, not really much I can do about that. Uh, let's include this artillery piece as well. And this one.
All right, 12 trucks died, damn. Okay, 38 for crossing the river. However, I grossly outnumber the uh, defender. Only do a partial attack with 7% of its troops. Why? Stoogs. Okay, this bridge is destroyed, that's why. Okay, he's only got two action points, which is not not helpful, but four two three and the two twelve four two three. Um I don't want these. I literally want the opposite. Blast. Okay. I think I just got their anti-tank gun, the only one that they had. Got him. Okay. That's, uh, what is this? Anti tank team? Anti tank team, okay. Ouch! Unknown artillery fire. Not ideal, but whatever. So these two can do a regular attack. 423 Vox Grenadier and 212. So I want this, this, and this. Not this, not this. We'll soften them up with a ranged attack first. Okay. I mean, this is a big, this is a big infantry regiment here. I mean, it's actually some effort to actually put the boot in.
Okay, I didn't have many action points left, but... Another six, uh, another six casualties. Okay. For some reason they decided to shoot at that, even though it's behind my lines and not reachable. Okay. This seems reasonable. We'll kill this next turn and then we'll go in after this. Maybe I can follow this road down here. These two big supply depots here. Right. Light infantry. The Volks Volkström people's people's soldier or people's militia or whatever. Not an entirely useful unit, but nevertheless. Artillery division, isn't it? This is the artillery HQ here. Just a million years from anywhere useful. truck. Man, this this does not have enough trucks to actually move. I'm going to put it in march mode. These are unmovable for now. Anti aircraft gun. Guess we'll leave that one there. Okay. What do I do about this group here? Obviously, getting at these guns point blank would be the right move. There's a bridge here that's been destroyed. Could fix it. It's not cheap though, ten political points, very expensive. Oh, 
obviously none of these units can cross here. Without repairing the bridge. That's a way across here. Is there anywhere else where there's a bridge that would be very valuable to repair? Probably this one. Or this one. <laughs> there's a set of pioneers here, they could actually fix the bridge. Waiting to repair bridges, yeah. Pioneers can be used to fix bridges. These are Volks, so they will never have they will never be able to repair that. Oh, these are pioneers as well, so they could repair the bridge. Does not have the EP required. So they'll build they build EP every turn. Which will let them fix the bridge. I need to see the details of the bridge. Um, hang on. There is a there is a thing somewhere that shows you. Okay, here we go. Bridge over Excel River can be repaired for four hundred. Bridge over Major River can be repaired for three hundred. Bridge over Minor River can be repaired for one hundred. Bridge over Medium River can be repaired for two hundred. I'm going to presume this is a major river and so it's going to take some time to actually repair this bridge. The question is, do I want to fix it with political power? Recon have I got on this hex sixty three? It's okay. It's not. It's not terrible. It's not great either. Hmm. 
can't see what this is. Could be anything. There's a huge amount of forces here as well. I feel like the best idea is to cross the river with the art with the uh, artillery. Uh, why won't this move? This is some heavy artillery here. Okay, has no action points. I already fired it. This, these pioneers will, they will repair this bridge eventually. I can just go across and leave the artillery on the other side of the river for now. Why not? <laughs> Oh, that was brutal. Wow, that was that was devastating damage. There's nothing left. Yikes. Okay, what's going on here? We got Got a very big ball of units here. This, I don't even know what this is. I have so little recon on it. This is like uh, below 50 is, you don't even know what the unit is. Extra units here. Okay, some errant artillery fire. Got a little bit of work done, but nothing serious. Question is, do I do I scout this? This could be anything. This could be a massive stack of units, or it could be it could be nothing. Probably wait for these these two combat groups to actually clean this area and start pushing in. Like these units coming in from behind would probably be Team Red. Um, I don't think any of these Mersh. No, that's not it, is it? No. Where are we? Um, That's near the top. Eight, 
85, 85, 85. They're sent with. What is... What is politically good near the bottom of the map? That's what I want to know. 138. Matalonge. 85. 138. That's here. It's quite deep though. Oh yeah, that's all the way back here. I guess to get there you'd want to go that way. Okay. I need to make the decision as to whether I am going to push forward here. Or stand by. Okay, this bridge is destroyed, so let's go here. This gives me better sight on this. I don't know what this is, and I can't find out. If it's infantry, it could cross the river here and, and attack, but it would be out of supply and surrounded, so that's not necessarily the greatest move. What's the ranged on this? It's probably not far, it's a noble warfare, so it's probably got pretty short range. Um Attacks ten, action points. Oh wait, it's up here, isn't it? Range four. Okay. There I am looking at the uh, looking at the super details. Okay, range four. So in order for this to be useful, it needs to be here. This one doesn't need to move. Okay, that was not good. <laughs> I barely did any real damage there. I mean, I got some units. Recon of 59, it's okay. Be a little bit until the rest of these units get into position. Oh, it's like ultra heavy artillery somewhere. It's probably on the other side of the planet. I 
Show me this one. Yeah, it's super long range artillery. These guys would just use their mortars, which is not not exciting. <laughs> All right, well, that definitely hurt. Okay, all right, we're going to say that that's it for now. We're 50 minutes in, and I've only done... Woof. Uh, wow. A tiny fraction of the front line. <laughs> These are going to be some long turns. I need to decide what I'm doing with these two combat groups. Once again, the bridges here have been destroyed, and it doesn't look like. There are some pioneers here, but I doubt they've got the necessary EP to repair yet. Basically, pioneers that are sat still generate EP every turn, and when they've got enough, they can repair the bridge. Or attempt to repair it, if there are enemies nearby defending it. Now, infantry can, of course just push over that is not necessarily ideal and I don't want to split up these units too much either so Anyway, those are my thoughts. That is it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.